Mr. Gibson, Mr. Lithgow, welcome to the Fitzy and Whipper Show. Oh, yeah. We just want to thank you men for making us laugh quite a bit. Mm-hmm. This movie is unbelievable. And you've also a couple of token dads from Australia get the free junket over to LA. So are you guys both fathers? We yes, are. we both are. Got two boys. Okay. Yeah. Two, two boys. The same boys? Uh, no. no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, there were a couple of drunken nights with each other's yeah, wives. Yeah. But, well, but your <laughs> kid came out quite well, All four of us are our dads, and yes. so was our director and our co-writer. Okay. We're granddads. So, yeah. There is a moment in the movie where Dylan needs to be taught about girls, mm-hmm. and it's the talk. Yeah. So, I mean, you boys have probably been through that stage in your lives. We haven't yet. Our boys are, are quite young, so I don't know if there's any advice that you can give us when it's time for, for the chat. talk mm. with the kids. Mm. Mm. Just uh, mm. try and, you know, tr- get 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 your wives to do it. No. <laughs> Just don't, don't freak them out. That's yeah. all. John, did you make the talk? Can I, you remember? Did you go into detail, or was there a yeah, book? I, you know, I did, I did have an extraordinary... I had about six weeks mm-hmm. uh, shooting Cliffhanger in Rome yep. with my younger son the whole time. Huh. And we just became such good friends. He was eight years old, and he remembers it until this day. is the best time we ever had together. Right. And by God, we even started the talk then. Yeah. Really? We didn't yeah. finish it, but we started <laughs> still going. It's a long talk. Yeah. So what about, I mean, what was great in the movie, too, is the love for your son and the lip kissing. Yeah. which is very powerful. Have you always <laughs> been a lip kisser with friends? I mean, everyone knows someone like I'm a hugger. I'm not a kisser. Mm, sure, yeah. sure. Uh, but, uh, you know, Will and I, we just went for it. We knew how funny it would be, and <laughs> and he and I gave up shame long ago. Yeah, so right. It, it was easy. So that didn't I mean, matter. he did six years on SNL. Yeah, I did, mm-hmm. I did yeah. six years on Third Rock. There's almost nothing we didn't do, That's including right. kissing men. Exactly. <laughs> Mel, did, did you did you uh, put your hand up for the firewood chopping scene with the singlet on? Because you're in great nick at the moment. No, that was, was like, pre- it was a, that was somebody else's idea. Was it really? It wasn't even in the script. Well, if I got to a- get into a singlet and like, yeah. chop some firewood. But I don't think it was actually in the film. Was it? Was Have it? you seen Greg Norman lately, Mel? No. He's in He's great nick as well. Yeah, I think yeah. you and him are on par at the moment as the, as the, uh, as the, the, the bulkiest Aussie. Yeah, great. Great Norman. The great, great Norman. Shark. The great white golf- shark, the golfer, John. The golfer, great Norman. Oh, Norman. Yeah. Greg, Greg Norman. yeah. I thing. thought you said great Norman. <laughs> the great, the great, 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 great Norman. Norman. He is the great Norman in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what are the tips you guys have got when, you know, our boys start dating and you, your kids start to meet partners? Did you ever have advice there or well, yeah. someone you didn't like? Whatever you say is sure to be wrong, so... Well, I had a daughter, and it was like, the guys used to come around, and I had, yeah, what like, do you do? I had mounted heads of teenage boys with a fork in their eye. I had them on the wall, you know. So I, this was the last guy, Jason. See that fork in his eye? Yeah, like that. <laughs> he deserved it. And, Mel, look, we have to ask. I know you're here for Daddy's Home, too, but, you know, in Australia, that iconic, you played Mad Max, mm-hmm. you played Braveheart, William Wallace, but we... Is it true that Lethal Weapon 5 could be coming back? Could we be seeing you doing that again? There's a hint of that. I just went to see Glover the other night in a play. Yeah, right. With, uh, with, with, the, with the director, Richard Donner. And yeah. We, we sort of had a good laugh about this. It's good. It was good to see so it. So the b- ball is rolling. Everybody's, Everybody's in good going. form, yeah. And it well, could happen. Well, John, you've played every role under the sun as well. I mean, could you come... Could you pl- be... A chance for lethal weapon, or he could, could be, be a bad guy. Well, yeah, that's right. He could be a bad guy. Well, I don't see myself in Danny Glover's role. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too, uh, getting too old for this shit. Something, something that doesn't compute there. Uh, but I, I love working with this guy. Yeah, yeah. I absolutely love it. You know, and we we do talk about other things. You mm-hmm. know, yeah. Daddy's Home Three. Yeah. Well, why not? <laughs> Everybody else does. Yeah. Go to Vegas. Yeah. Shoot craps. Or well, a different one. Maybe not Christmas carols. Or what are you thinking? Vegas. Vegas. Well, I think that was set up at the end or something, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, of course. They, they know what they're doing. They, no, they do. They, they do. pad the sequel. And, and Paramount knows a good franchise when they see that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, lads, thank you very much for having us today. We love the movie. Thank so you. Pleasure. We'd love to end with a, 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 a lip kiss, but I think we might just shake Big hands. Bunch of these jumpers, Between the it? two of you, be sure you know, I haven't flossed or anything. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you very much. Nice to see you.